Liverpool, the second port in importance in the United Kingdom and one of the largest ports in the world, it handles well over 16,000 vessels a year. Each of these ships has a voice, her whistle or siren. On these records are a selection of some of the voices of ships that are well known in the Mersey, together with a few that belong to the past, but which are nevertheless still remembered on Mersey side. Our selection is introduced by the powerful twin steam whistles of the liner Sylvania, one of the two Cunard passenger ships still sailing regularly from the Mersey. <laughs> Next comes the voice of the Reina del Mar, a popular passenger ship owned by the Pacific Steam Navigation Company, but now on long-term charter to the Union Castle Line for cruising. A famous Liverpool ship-owning company, Alfred Holt & Co, managed the Blue Funnel Line. Here are the twin air whistles fitted to the cargo liner Lycaon. The Lamport and Holt line runs services from Liverpool to South America. Their cargo motor ship Ronsard carries an air whistle which sounds like this. Although not owned in Liverpool, the ships of the Shaw Savile line are regular visitors to the port. Here their cargo liner Persic sounds her steam whistle. Now a ship which has left the Mersey probably forever, the Johnston Warren passenger liner Newfoundland, sold a few years ago to buyers in Australia. Once on the run between Liverpool and Boston, she is saying farewell to her tugs on a triple bell steam whistle. Elman and Papiani Line ships trade to the Mediterranean. Here's a sharp blast or two from the air whistle of their motor ship Arcadian. One of a large fleet of cargo ships owned by the Clan Line, a concern founded in Liverpool in 1878. The Clan MacDonald also has an air whistle. Here is the deep voice of the Elliman Hall cargo liner, City of Karachi, produced by twin steam whistles of the organ pipe type. The Harrison Line, another old established Liverpool ship-owning company, has a fleet of cargo liners. The steam whistle of one of them, the Wayfarer, produces this tone. And now we turn the hands of time back a little, while we hear the sound of three famous passenger liners which once graced the Mersey, but now have gone forever. We start with the big motor ship Britannic, which holds particular memories for me as she was my first command. Originally built for the old White Star Line, she was latterly run by Cunard. We hear her powerful triple bell whistle as she leaves the Mersey for the last time on December the 16th, 1960,
bound for the shipbreakers at Inverkeeling on the Firth of Forth. The second is the Empress of France of Canadian Pacific steamships, built as the Duchess of Bedford in 1928. Her triple bell whistle gave a mournful sound as she left Liverpool for breaking up at Newport Monmouthshire on December the 19th, 1960. And here's a majestic sound, the voice of one of the most famous ships ever, on which I spent many years and was proud to be the last of her first officers, the first Mauritania of the Cunard Line, an Atlantic record holder for 22 years. She last sailed from the Mersey in 1927, after which she made Southampton her base and was finally broken up in 1935. Her successor, the second Mauritania, of which I was captain for five years, was launched at Birkenhead in 1938 and broken up in 1965 at Inverkeething on the Firth of Forth. <laughs> Back to more recent times. The Canadian Pacific flagship Empress of Canada began her maiden voyage from Liverpool to Montreal on April the 24th, 1961, and the Mersey shipping gave her the traditional send-off. Tugs, ferries and other craft all join in the chorus, and the big ship is heard replying. <laughs> 